ਸੰਦੇਹਾਂ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam first canto 16th chapter text number 36 given by his divine grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada recorded on the 30th of January 1974 in Tokyo Japan Sri Rupa
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय 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 Translation. While the earth and the personality of religion were thus engaged in conversation, the saintly king Maharaj Parikshit reached the shore of the Saraswati River, which flowed towards the east. So we had been discussing the conversation between Mother Art and Dharmaraj. The subject matter was that the earthly planet was very much morose on account of arrival of Kali Yuga. So we have discussed the symptoms of Kali Yuga. This is called Kali Yuga. As there are seasonal changes, similarly in the duration of this material existence, there are seasonal changes that we, everyone has got experience. Uh, there is summer, there is winter, there is fall, there is spring. So generally the seasonal changes are accepted as Satyajuk, Tritajuk, Dapurjuk and Kali. Just like in each year we have got different season changes. Suddenly each millennium there are so many changes of Kali Yuga, Dapur Yuga, Satya Yuga. So, Satya Yuga means the age of truthfulness. Satya means truthfulness. And Kali Yuga means the age of disabled. The age of disabled. So at the present moment we are in the Kali Yuga. Everyone disagrees with the other. In the so-called disciple also disagrees with the spiritual. This is the influence of Kali Yuga. One becomes disciple of a spiritual master, and then he whimsically disagrees. No, so why, if you disagree, why should you accept somebody as spiritual master? Uh, that is not very good. That is the way of not being successful. We are chanting every day the Jasya Prasada, the Bhagavad Prasada. By satisfying the spiritual master, one can satisfy the Supreme Personality of God. Jasya Prasada, by the satisfaction of the spiritual master, one of the symptoms is this. The spiritual master is so bona fide. Before accepting somebody as spiritual master, you must know about his bona fides. That time is allowed. It is said in the Shastra that if you like to accept somebody as spiritual master, you should associate with him at least for one year. See how things are going. If you follow, of course, others, uh, that is also good. But personally it is advised that you just remain with the proposed spiritual master for at least one year, so that the spiritual master is also given chance to study you, whether you are accepted. This is the process. But when one leaves a spiritual master, the spiritual master, then there may be some reason. That reason is also given in the Shastra. Uh, 
गुरुमपि अवलिप्त काजा काजम अजान काजम अकाज इन दि स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर डज नॉट नो वट इज एक्चुअली टू बी डन वट इज एक्चुअली नॉट टू बी डन एंड ही एक्ट्स अगेंस्ट दी रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ दिस शास्त्र देन सच स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर मे बी गिव द But so long you do not find the spiritual master is doing against the principles of shastra or guru, then if you give up the company of spiritual master, that is not good for you. That is your downfall. First of all, you must take sufficient time to study the movements of a spiritual master. A spiritual master is one, the spiritual master, because there may be many spiritual master, but if their business is one to satisfy Krishna, although they are many, they are one. Although they are many, uh, they are still one. The principle is one to satisfy Krishna. To such is the position of spiritual master that jasya prasadad bhagavat prasad. If you try to please your spiritual master, then God, Krishna, becomes pleased. That is natural. So, the Kali Yuga, even with the spiritual master, there is disease. That is due to influence of Kali. That is my point. So, this influence of Kali Yuga has been discussed in so many pages in the Samadhi Bhagavata and. Last, it was discussed that the good qualification of a human being, human being, I am speaking because amongst the living entities, human being is considered to be the highest. So, the mother earth was lamenting that people have lost their good qualification. They cannot be lost. But it is by the influence of Kaliju, it is now common. Sattam Samam Gaya, the 26th nice qualification, we have discussed all these things. Sattam Sauchana Gaya Khanti Stiago Santu Svajavam Samo Namas Tapasyamam Kritikko Upar Rati Sutam Gyanam Virakti Raisajyam Sodjam Atrija Balam Smithihi Satantram Kausanam Kanti Vihajyam Mardam Evacham. So, on account of this Kali the good qualification of human society will be lost. Thinking this future or the present age, uh, Mother Earth was lamenting and talking with Dharmaraj so at that time. Maharaj Yudhishthi, Maharaj Parikhi, arrived on that spot. That is the, this is the verse. Tayori man kathayato. While the Dharmaraj and the earthly planet was talking between themselves, Prisivi, Prisivi, Tayori wa kathayato, Prisivi, the earthly planet and dharmayo sada. Sada at that time, parikhit nama rajasi. Parikhit nama rajasi. There are many rajasi. Rajasi means although they are occupying the royal position, raja, raja and praja. Raja means king or the ruler. Here is also regulated. Why a king is accepted? Why a governor is accepted? Why a president is? Even in these days of democracy, they have abolished the system of monarchy, but still they select somebody to become a monarch, a king, or to occupy the post of the king. That is called president. Why? Because unless there is one head, or on the head of the government who can actually control 
control means whether citizens are following, executing the rules and regulations, the law of the state. Therefore, a certain man, qualified man, who enjoys the confidence of the people, he is accepted as the king. This is the president. So, such president, king, or the executive head must be a saintly person. Therefore, here it is said, for a kitnamo rajarsi. Rajarsi means those who are on the top of the government. He must be Rishi, saintly person, just like this, our Krishna consciousness movement. The head of the institution must be a saintly person. Otherwise, how he can become a controller? Controller then must be. That what is the qualification of the control? He must be a saintly person. He must know what is the principle of life, what is the value of life, why one should be controlled by somebody else, these things are required to become qualified. So, Maharaj Parikhi, Parikhi Nama Rajasi, in those days all the kings were like saintly persons. They were not ordinary persons. Why saintly person required? Because a saintly person means he knows what is actually good and what is not good. The actually good of human life is that he is engaged in developing devotional service. There is actual good. In other place, uh, this Srimad Bhagavatam, it is stated, Sabai Pumsan Paro Dharma Jato Bhakti Radhukhari Paro Dharma Paro means superior transcendental, or which is para and apara, bara and abara, these words are used. Bara means greater, and abara means lower, and para means superior, and apara means inferior. The here it is spoken. There are many types of religious system, but they are apara not very good, inferior, inferior type. Religion cannot be inferior, but it is sometimes made into inferiority because without such kind inferior type of religion, the inferior class of man will not accept, will not accept. Just like in religious system, in any religious system, uh, the killing of animal, there is, in every religious system, there is. But why there is this killing of a living entity is not good. But why in the religious system there is permission for killing animal? So that is explained. A person who is staunch meat eater, he cannot give up meat eating. So at the same time he wants to be religious. This is the position. For such person it is enjoyed, just like in Vedic system. All right, if you want to eat meat at the same time you want to become religious, then you worship Goddess Tali. You cannot worship Vishnu because he is a meat eater. He cannot approach Pavitra Paramam Bhava, the Supreme Personality is the Supreme Pure. So this meat eater is impure. He cannot approach the pure. That is not possible. Therefore, he is advised to approach some agent of the pure, some Shakti, or just like Goddess Kali. Goddess Kali is the Shakti or the potency. Kali has got also business to cut the heads of the demons. You have seen the goddess Kali's picture in Mundamala. She is garlanded with the heads of the demons. Have you seen? Have you seen? I have seen Kali too. Yeah. But her business is to cut <coughs> the heads of the demons. 
she is carrying one head in this hand and in this hand she is carrying a chopper and her business is to cut the heads of the demons. But she is also the agent of the Supreme Personality of God. How she is agent? Because God has got two business. Paritrana sadhuna vilasaya cha duskita. Duskiti na mudha naradhava maya apuritagyana asuri bhava vasita. For them, the goddess Kali is engaged to cut their heads. Kill them. That is also Krishna's agent. Vilasaya cha duskita. They have to be finished. But by finishing them, they are also elevated. Finishing means finishing their sinful activities. Finishing their sinful activities. Just like it is very easy to understand. Just a, a person who has committed murder, the state law he is finishing, otherwise he will commit another murder. If he is encouraged, therefore, by finishing him, there are two purposes. One purpose is sad that because he has done something, very grievous, sinful activity, by sacrificing his own life, he becomes relieved from the sinful action. That is the law in the Manusang. I am not manufacturing. They, a murderer is condemned to death just to save him from many following resultant action of sinful activity. Even in this life, he gives his life, life for life. Then he says, in the next life, he takes his birth clean, not suffering anymore, on account of this simple act. This is the statement of Manuswami. Another instruction is that if this murderer is killed, then he will be saved from committing again murder. So the Vinasaya Sadhuskita, when a demon is killed, that he is saved, the people are saved, and everything is good. But people cannot understand that why God is killing the demons and giving protection to the devotees. God is equal to everyone. Krishna says, Samohaṁ sarvabhūteśu nami deśyasti na priya. Krishna says that I am equal to everyone. If God is not equal to everyone, then how He can be God? Uh, he is God, who is equal. Nami deśyasti na priya. So when God is killing somebody and God is patting somebody, that does not mean He has got two equal behavior for two persons. No. His behavior is the same, affection. But to kill this demon means to stop him from further sinful activities and give him release from the sinful activity he has done. That way it is his mercy. But one has to study very carefully. Because God is absolute, there is no difference between his activities giving <coughs> a demon and giving protection to a devotee. He is giving protection to the demon also by killing him. But one cannot understand. So, in this Kaliju, uh, Rajarsi, this Rajarsi, Rajarsi is saintly person. Now he will find this Parikhit Maharaj. As soon as he will find this one demon is trying to kill another cow, he immediately took his soul. So if he is a Rishi, one may inquire that he is a saintly person, how is that he is going to kill another person? So killing is not always bad. But it is not to be judged by you. It is to be judged by the saintly person. Uh, when killing is required, when not killing is required. So that is the qualification of the khatriya. Khatriya means one who gives protection. It's like when there is attack in a country, the king or the president gives protection to the citizen by killing the enemies. So his business is to give protection to the citizen. So it may be sometimes by killing others he gives protection. We have discussed many times the violence and non-violence. 
these are contradictory terms. But when these two contradictory things are found in saintly person, we must know they are all the same, uh, absolute. Uh, and what to speak of when these accents are found in Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. That is the absolute nature. Uh, absolute, to understand the absolute nature means one plus one equal to one, and one minus one equal to one. This is absolute understanding. Purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyat. Purnasya purnamada. The one is complete number, uh, purna. Purnasya purnamada. And if you take a complete one, it still it is one. This is absolute understanding. It is not that one has been taken away from one, therefore it has become zero. No, that is material. That is relative. So, Parikhit Nama Rajasi Prachin Sarasati. In India, all the rivers, they are coming from the Himalaya, western side, flowing towards the eastern side, going to the Bay of Bengal. So, Prachin, flowing to the eastern side, Sarasati. This is also one of the famous rivers. There are many rivers in India, especially very sacred rivers, Ganges, Jamuna, Saraswati, Godavari, Kaveri, Krishna, Narvada, like that. Each river is considered uh, very sacred. So it is understood that Parikit Maharaj met the Dharmaraj and the earthly planet talking together on the bank of the river Sanskrit. That's all right. Thank you. Any questions? I have a simple question. Is Dharma Raj King Yudhisthira? Yudhisthira is the son of Dharma Raj. Is the son. Maharaj Yudhisthi was begotten by Dhanura. Vidura was also a lead. Um, no, Vidura was begotten by Vyasdi. He was also a Dhanuraj? No. Oh. You are not. Oh, yes, yes. You are right. He was, was Dhanuraj. Jamaraj. Jamaraj, yes. Mm. Uh, and by the cursing of some mm. great Rishi, he became a Sudra. I thought that you were asking whether Vidura was begotten by Dharma. No, he is Dharma. Many questions. What is the name of that boy? Sanjay? Yes. Who has given you this name? Yes, yes. Sanjay, Ubaj. Sanjay. Having heard your wondrous dialogue to the Prabhupada, my hair is standing on end. Huh? How did that? Having heard your holy dialogue, Srila Prabhupada, my hair is standing on end, like Sanjay says in the Gita. What is that? Special. Which pose then? This is the last slokas of Bhagavad Gita when uh, uh, he's, he's relating the uh, conversation to Dhritarashtra, the final conclusion of Bhagavad Gita, uh, saying, After hearing this holy dialogue, my hair is standing on end. Oh. In Bhagavad Gita. Oh. You want to know about something? But that's bhas? No, I, I, I just stated that oh. after him here. Every instruction is like that. We should follow the instruction. And if you cannot understand, then consult the spiritual master. Not to give up this association of the spiritual master and interpret in your own way. That is just Don't do that. It is said in the Bhagavad Gita, tadviddhi panipatena paripasnena sevaya upadakshanti tad jnanam jnanina tattva darshana. If there is any doubt in understanding the Vedic literature, then you try to understand uh, from the person who knows it, tattva darshana who has seen actually the truth, upadakshanti uh, tad jnanam jnanina tattva darshana. One has actually seen the truth 
है ना हाउ टू अप्रोचिंग तद्विधि प्रणिपात है ना परिपुष्ट है बाय सरेंडरिंग बाय गिविंग सर्विस एंड क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन मस्ट बी प्रिसीडेड एंड फॉलोड बाय प्रिसीडेड बाय सरेंडर एंड फॉलोड बाय सर्विस इन द मिडल देन इन पोस्ट देर पर जो सब प्रसाद आद भगवत we have to please the spiritual master by service and surrender and then it will be very nice position and the spiritual master sees that the disciple is a surrender so and he is rendering service to his best capacity then the answer will be very liberal and convincing and he will be very glad to answer the question If it is supported by these two things, surrender and pradipusmena and shubhaya, then with the pranipati, with the first beginning is pranipati. What is this that I give up the company of my spiritual master and I invent my own ways of life and own interpretation? That is not right. The war on the battlefield of Kurukshetra that lasted for a period of 18 days. Yeah, and that happened 5,000 years ago when Krishna was on Earth. Is that happening now in some other material universe? The same battle, same battle. Yes. Can we enter into that or see that? Yeah, we can go there. We have to. We leave the university, but that, then we are associating directly with Krishna and Arjuna. Yeah, you can associate with Krishna and Arjuna every 24 hours. Just by, by reading thinking. Bhagavad Gita. Why you, you require to go there? It is already here. You see, you read the Bhagavad Gita, and you are immediately in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. He is instructed. Uh, that was the instruction. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted. You know that story. Illiterate Brahman was reading Bhagavad Gita, uh, so he did not know. He was not literate, but because his spiritual master, he has so staunch faith in his spiritual master. His spiritual master said that he read daily 18 chapters of Bhagavad Gita. A spiritual master knew that he was illiterate, but he still asked. He read eighteen chapters daily. So what can he do? A spiritual master has an order. So he is simply making a show reading, ah, uh, like this. So his other friends are criticized. Ah, Mr. Satan said, "How are you reading Bhagavad Gita?" He knows that this man, this friend, is criticizing. So he did not answer. But when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked me, yeah, my dear Brahman, uh, what you are reading, he, he knew that this gentleman, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, really inquisitive. So he explained the whole thing that I am trying to read Bhagavad Gita, but I am illiterate. My Guru Maharaj ordered me to read, therefore I am reading. But actually, I cannot. So frankly, I. Do. So this is staunch faith in spiritual master. He knew his spiritual master knew that he is illiterate, and he knew also that I cannot read Bhagavad Gita. But he still he was trying to read because his spiritual master has said this is called staunch. Just saprasada. He has said, I have to satisfy. Him. I am incompetent. I cannot read. But he has said the Brahman must do. And this is called just saprasada, the Bhagavad Gita. So, a oh, practical example, uh, just like this Krishna consciousness movement. And I am insignificant human being. What can I do? But I tried my best because my spiritual master says that you go and try to preach in English. So I tried my best. That's all. I had no qualification. So this is very nice point. Just a prasada. We have to try our best to. I may not be able to do that, 
but that endeavor will be appreciated by Krishna and his creature. That is it. I may be most incompetent. Everyone is incompetent. Who can satisfy Krishna? This unlimited. Uh, but simply what Krishna says, if we do, that is satisfying. Uh, Krishna says, manmana bhavamad bhakta vajjari mangamaskuru. Uh, the guidance is the uh, spiritual master. He orders that uh, manmana always think of me. Bhavamad bhakta. Just become my devotee. Worship me. Offer your uh, obeisances unto me. Then here is the deity. So that is our business. Think of all else. Here is Radha and Krishna. Here is Jagannath. Here is Lord Chaitanya. What is the difficulty? In the temple we get direct contact. And if I go away from the temple and lie down on the station, is that very good thing? Krishna says, <laughs> <laughs> so, will it help me to think of him 24 hours by going to the railway station or in the temple? This is common sense. Any sensible man can understand that here is Krishna, here is Radharani, his uh, worship is going on, devotees uh, are offering prasada, all they are constantly engaged. That is Manmana Bhakta. Or I give up the association of the devotees and temple and go to a hell. That will help me. It is a common sense. I manufacture my own way, like the advisor, some another risk. This is not good. This, this is very good. Manmana bhavamad bhakta madhyaji mangana madhkuru. Now always think of me. Here is the chance. As soon as I see, as, as I advance in my spiritual life, I will see here is Krishna. He is not the doll Krishna. Doll Krishna is for the Kanishta Dikar. But one who is advanced, he sees Krishna. Just like you have read the story of in Chaitanya Chaitamita, two Brahmins went to Vrindavan. So devotee is seeing, here is Krishna. When the world of Brahmin said that I promise glory, the younger said, Sir, you are talking before Krishna my name. To debate from this promise, it will be great uh, offense. Because you are seeing Krishna. And when he was asked, who was you witness? He said, Krishna was witness. And his eldest son took the opportunity. All right, if you are, Krishna comes and gives witness, then my sister will be married. Because he is atheist. You are thinking Krishna is not coming. Krishna is not coming. It is you know, made a marble statue. How Krishna come? So he thought that I have given him some chance which will never be fulfilled. But to fulfill the words of the devotee, Krishna came. Therefore he is called Sakti Gopa, witness Gopa. So we must have faith. Uh, we must have faith and discharge duties according to the Shastra, Guru, Sadhu. Then our spiritual life is guaranteed. If we manufacture, something out of means, that will not help us. This is the point. Srila yeah. Prabhupada, in Srimad Bhagavatam uh, it stated that the super soul is measured from the end of the thumb to the end of the ring finger. Mm-hmm. How does this change take place in the different sizes of species of living entities? He can, he can become the smaller than the smallest, Small. and the higher than the bigger than the biggest. That is Krishna's power.